Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link down below in the description for that. It's August 1st, 1st today, 2022. Um, we're going to go, I'm all done with first crop now, finally. So we're going to go and uh, cut that sorghum, that sorghum Sudan grass, and then the, the one field had some millet mixed in with it. The smaller field is just sorghum Sudan grass. Uh, and my plan is I'm going to chop that. I was going to make baleage out of it, but after talking with our nutritionist, uh, he recommended chopping it just because when it gets real long, he said they tend to waste a lot more is what he's noticed. So that little silo in the pasture is empty, so I think we're going to put it in there. But uh, we'll go out and cut it first. It's This first field is maybe getting a little bit past its prime, but we're getting been pretty dry here. We haven't gotten much rain. It's starting to curl up anyway, so... Um, it's time to get it cut. I would have probably cut it a little sooner, but I was getting first crop done. So we'll go out there now and see what it looks like. All right, we're out at the field here now. Um, it's looking pretty good. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but a lot of spots on them hilltops and stuff where it's drier, they're starting to, starting to burn some. So definitely time to cut it, I think. So uh, we'll get turned around here and see what we got. went and narrowed the windrow width up a little bit I don't want to uh, tighten it up too much because I want it to be able to dry some but I don't really want to have to rake this before I chop it because I don't want to rake in a bunch of rocks and dirt and stuff uh, it's hard on the chopper knives and it's not good for the cows either so I don't want it too wide where it's hard to pick up with the chopper head but we'll see if we can that make a happy medium on that width but it looks pretty good to me um, like I said there's some patches out there that are starting to dry up but I think there's gonna be a lot of tonnage out here for what it is so we'll get it cut down and we'll uh, see how that goes get in a little more and we'll get some video see how it looks when we get in there a little bit Welcome back, it's a few days later, we're gonna go chop some sorghum. 
I've got everything cut. I actually went and chopped that lower field already this morning. That was pretty thin. There wasn't wasn't a lot down there. So we got one load chopped off of there. But we're going to hit that other field now. That's pretty decent. So I think we'll get a few loads off of there. So we'll go see, uh, see how that goes. got the three wagons full we're gonna unload now paul's here we got the 830 case on the blower he's hauling wagons with the 560 and i should probably explain why the silo unloader is in pieces on this hay rack uh last night we were going to raise up the silo unloader uh, for those of you who don't know that's supposed to be all assembled inside the silo that's what empties all the feed out it's hooked to a cable the cable goes up to a tripod and then over the top and down to a winch down on the bottom outside. We got it raised about halfway up and started the winch started making a funny noise. Something didn't sound right. I was by the doors. I had a couple strings attached to it so I could steer it. And Paul was running the drill, raising it up. All of a sudden we heard a pop or a bang and some little piece of something fell down. So we stopped. And I climbed up the outside and looked while well, the pulley up in the peak of that tripod broke. 
I'm assuming it was seized up and the cable just wore through it or something like that happened. I know I've looked at that pulley in the past and the way that's made, you can't take that pulley out because it's built right into the kind of the frame of that. So um, I guess we kind of figured the only option we got in order to replace that tripod is to fill the silo. So I had to get the unloader out. So last night, Caleb come over, shout out to him. Thanks for coming over and Paul too. And we got in there with the cordless impact and some wrenches and buzzed it apart and got it out of there. So now we'll hopefully with the sorghum and maybe some second crop, if I got enough of that, hopefully to get the silo full, then we can take that old tripod out. And I think I found a replacement one. So uh, we can get that back in and I don't know I'll probably, I'm not sure if we're going to try to pull the unloader back up and put it together at the top or if I'll just pitch the silo out by hand, feed it out by hand once we get the tripod in and, and put it back in at the bottom, but we'll save that plan for a later date. But anyway, we're hooked up here now. He's got the first wagon, so we'll get fired up and blow it up there. We're back at it today. Um, I just finished chopping the last two loads of sorghum this morning. I got one of them unloaded. I got one more to do. I, I'll climb back up there again and see what it's looking like. It was about three quarters full before I unloaded this, so it's getting up there. But I do have some second crop that I can chop to top it off, I think, if we have to, so we can get up to that tripod. But uh, we'll go get the other wagon and climb up there and see what it looks like take down our cow deterrent system here.
Well, I got all that in there. Plugged a couple times, but it wasn't too bad. Um, so now we'll climb up and see see how much is how much room we got for hay. All right, we're up in the silo. We'll take a look in here. Getting up there. There's about three doors showing, but I think if this was leveled off, it'd probably be about four doors. So it'll take a few loads yet, but got the majority of it. Anyway, I don't know how much this will settle. Probably a fair bit. So we'll go cut a little more hay. It's supposed to be really hot today, so that hay is getting a lot of dead stuff. Grass is getting dried up. So I'm probably going to chop pretty much right behind the hay bine, I think, so... Don't want to leave it lay too long. It's windy today and hot, so don't want it to get too dry on us.